The state could rest its case today in the Scott Peterson trial. He's accused of taking cover instead of action during the Parkland school shooting. Local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez joins us live with the testimony on day eight of this trial. Christina. The state announcing to the court just a short time ago that it has rested its case. The last state witness this jury heard from the defense leverage during cross examination to hit some key points to the defense that this defense attorney wants the jurors in this case to consider. Detective of the 2018 Parkland school shooting case, John Curcio, a BSO homicide detective who interviewed the Parkland shooter and, as part of that shooter investigation, spoke with witnesses to include an under oath on the record interview with then school resource officer Scott Peterson. True, uh, Andrew Medina said that he heard firecrackers in the 1200 building. Did the defendant tell you how close he got to the 1200 building? Yes. And what were his words? Uh, he got very close. I think he said within 10 feet. Okay, so there was, there was no kids that ran out to say to you, you guys, hey, there's a guy up there or anything of that. And, and the answer was no. The ex-Parkland deputy accused of failing to confront the shooter is facing a perjury charge for lying, say investigators, about how many gunshots he heard and what he saw. How many gunshots did the defendant tell you that he heard? Two or three. How many rounds in total were fired inside the 1200 building? I believe it was uh, over 130. Of those, 61 rounds on the third floor. Peterson is facing 10 counts stemming from staff and students murdered on the third floor. Teacher Scott Beagle was killed. Kara Longren, Meadow Pollock, Joaquin Oliver, Jamie Guttenberg, and Peter Wang. And the third floor injured. A teacher by the name of Stacy LaPelle was on the third floor, Kyle Lyman, uh, Marion Kabachenko, and Anthony Borges. That's Nicholas Cruz, isn't it? Yes, it is. Is that the person responsible for killing all those people? Yes, he is. The Parkland shooter, armed with an AR-15 style rifle, killed 17 that day, wounded another 17 in just over six minutes. Prosecutors have said Peterson should be held criminally responsible for actions he didn't take after he arrived to the 1200 building following the first floor gunshots. The defense on cross highlighting that swift timeline. The total time my client had to confront whoever was creating this massacre would have been four minutes and 15 seconds, correct? So that's correct. And once again, the state resting its case just a short time ago. The court is on recess until later this afternoon, and that is when we do anticipate that the defense will start its case. But remember, there's been an interesting twist throughout this entire trial due to some scheduling considerations. You might recall that the judge on several occasions hit pause on the state's case so that the defense could actually stage some of its initial witnesses. So the jury has already heard from some defense witnesses, and the defense attorney in this case threw that opportunity through the scheduling issue, being able to telegraph some of the evidence that they want the jury to consider. You can already hear from the defense witnesses that this jury has heard from on our website. That's local10.com. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.